Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Clem by Sam. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to revisit my 2020 makeup favorites. So last year at the end of 2020, I made a video about my favorite products from that year and I was kind of looking at these products and with certain products, I kind of thought, what was I thinking, you know? I mean, I liked them back then, but now looking back at it, I'm like, was that really the best product I had tried? So I thought today we would go over the products that I chose for that video, and I'm basically going to tell you if I still like them, I think they're favorites, or if I don't really like them as much anymore. So I think without further ado, if you want to see what I think of my 2020 makeup favorites, then please keep watching. So the first thing already made me laugh, I chose the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream for my favorite moisturizer. And this year I've definitely tried different moisturizers. I'm currently using the Magic Cream and I could not imagine choosing that e.l.f. one above my Magic Cream. So in those terms, it's definitely not a favorite anymore because I haven't like bought a new jar after that one was finished. But it was a nice moisturizer for the price. If you are looking for a nice, decent moisturizer that doesn't have maybe a lot of special ingredients in there, but like does the job at moisturizing the face, I think that one from e.l.f. is definitely really nice. It's just that currently it's not a favorite anymore because I have tried better products. As my primer, I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I would still agree on this. I love that product so much. I didn't use it as much in the summer, but lately I've been liking to use it again because my skin is a little bit more dry. Sometimes when I wear the Magic Cream though, I don't feel like I need extra glow because I like the glow that the Magic Cream is already giving to my face. So in those terms, I don't use it like on an everyday basis, but I still really enjoy it. So I would say the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter is still a solid favorite in my collection. As for my favorite foundation, I chose the Estee Lauder Double Wear. You guys, I don't think I've touched that foundation this year, maybe in like the first month or two, but ever since I started using my Charlotte Tilbury Everest Flawless Foundation, that has been all I'm using. In the summer, I did get the Sephora Care Foundation, which I really enjoy as well. It's a bit more glowy, but the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I haven't used a lot this year anymore, so I wouldn't say it's a favorite. However, if I look back at it, I did really enjoy it. It was a nice foundation. I just like the Charlotte Tilbury one 10 times better. So if I would have to recommend a full coverage foundation, I would always recommend the Charlotte Tilbury one over the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I can't see why I placed it in like the best foundation because I don't think I had tried the Charlotte Tilbury one back then. Favorite concealer, I chose the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and this used to be my favorite concealer for such a long time. Even this year, I was still constantly using it. However, this has been replaced in my collection as well, mostly by the Tarte Shape Tape. It literally took me five years to try the Tarte Shape Tape. I know it was like super popular in 2016, and it's now almost 2022, and I literally just tried it this year, but I love that concealer so much. I totally get the hype, it is absolutely amazing but that Revolution Concealer is a nice concealer for the price point. It doesn't cover as well as my Tarte Shape Tape, but it's definitely a bit of a dupe and it does cover a lot. I'd say if you are on a budget, then you can totally get the Make Revolution one. But if you want to spend a bit more on a nice concealer, I would prefer the Tarte Shape Tape over that. And this year, I've also been loving my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I've been loving as well. So definitely not as much a favorite anymore, but I still think it's a really nice one. I also chose the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Setting Powder. Totally see why, I absolutely love that setting powder. Mine was decluttered very recently because it was pretty much empty. Right now I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which I like as well, but I really like that Fenty powder. So I would say that one is definitely still a favorite and I totally see why I chose it as my favorite powder. My favorite blush, I chose the Samantha March and Ofra blush in the shade Chiclet blush. I love that blush, but I have not used that anymore this year. But this one has definitely been replaced by others in my collection. For instance, the one from Pat McGrath. The Samantha March is just a blush that I have not been using anymore. I declared it for my collection. I don't know why, I was just kind of done with it. Maybe I used it a bit too much, but I get why I chose it as my favorite blush. But now that I've tried other blushes, I wouldn't say that's a favorite in my collection anymore. 
My favorite contour product, I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. Totally get it, absolutely love that product. Still a solid favorite in my collection, so I can totally see why I chose that. I just added a new fresh one to my collection because mine was empty, but definitely still a favorite, the best contour product out there. Same goes with bronzer. I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Still a favorite in my collection. I love that bronzer. I'm wearing it today. I've recently been starting to wear it a bit more. I was using my Nudegasm Face Palette all the time, but that one is a bit more like cool toned and I just wanted to have something warm toned again. So I started using the Charlotte Tilbury one again and I absolutely love it. It's truly the best bronzer in my collection. For highlighter, this kind of made me laugh. I chose the Highlighter from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Princess Please. I sort of get why, because it was a pretty highlighter, but was it anything special? No. I was surprised I did not choose the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter because I think I got that last year, but I might have gotten it in like December, which is probably why I didn't choose it as a favorite. But the highlighter has definitely been replaced. I'm loving so many different highlighters. I still have the Kylie one in my collection. I just don't really use it anymore because I don't know, I'm kind of over Kylie Cosmetics. They're not really like super popular anymore. So I'm not really using their products a lot anymore. So I would definitely say that isn't a favorite anymore. For my favorite face palettes, I chose the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette, the Sculpture Edition from last year's holiday collection. Still really enjoy that palette. I still have it. I think the shades are gorgeous. I have definitely not used this as much as I had hoped, just because the bronzer can be a bit too deep and the highlighter is a bit too deep, but it is still a really nice palette and I do think the powders in there are really nice. I'm not sure if I would repurchase another Hourglass palette because they are really pricey and have I really used it a lot? no but it was a pretty product and I still like it so I would say it's sort of still a favorite for my brows I chose the elf ultra precise brow pencil and this brings me back all the memories I used to love that brow pencil before I got my Charlotte Tilbury one but I think in April when the Charlotte Tilbury ones were released I stopped using my elf one and the Charlotte Tilbury one was all I was using I have two restocks laying in my drawer I think I went to three or four refills of it by now I love that brow product it's what I wear on an everyday basis so the elf definitely left my collection and has been replaced by the Charlotte Tilbury brow sheet. The brow sheet is a bit more pricey but I do feel like it's a better shade match, it's easier to blend and overall I just like that one a bit better. But if you are on the budget and you cannot afford the Charlotte Tilbury one, I think the e.l.f. one is pretty nice for the price. So I do see why I chose it as a favorite but I would not choose it as a favorite anymore. For eyeshadows, this kind of made me laugh because I chose a pigment, the Peaches and Cream Gatsby pigment, and I think I used that pigment like a few times only that year, and every time that I tried it, I liked it, but I'm so surprised that I chose this as my favorite eyeshadow. I also chose the Colourpop Blush Crush and the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. Those last two palettes, I can see why. I still enjoy those, but that Peaches and Cream pigment... I just don't know what I was thinking that I chose that as like my favorite eyeshadow. We all know how many eyeshadows I have and I'm just like, from everything that I had to choose from, I literally chose a pigment that I maybe used like five times. It was beautiful, I just didn't really use it. So I'm so surprised that I chose that one. So that one is definitely not a favorite anymore. It's not in my collection, I declared it. The Colourpop and the Too Faced are still my collection, still enjoy them, but this year I have added like Charlotte Tilbury palettes to my collection, which you guys know are my absolute favorites. So I ranked my eyeshadow palettes and I think I ranked these in maybe like 12th and 10th place. So I still rank them pretty high from all the palettes that I have. So they're definitely still favorites in my collection. I use the Too Faced one a bit more than I use the Colourpop one, but I still like both of these palettes and I see why I chose them as my favorites. I'm just so surprised by that little pigment. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> For mascara, I chose the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and I would say I'm happy with that pick. I have tried that, I used that mascara this year as well, and I just really like it. We all know I don't have the best lashes, so I don't like buying high-end mascaras because they don't do a lot for my lashes anyways. I feel like drugstore mascaras do the same thing, and they are more affordable. Right now, I'm using the Essence Super Curl cool Mascara, which is nice as well, but that Lash Princess one, I really like, so I can totally see why I chose that one as my favorite as well. 
And lastly, we have a lipstick, and the lipstick that I chose is Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria. I can see why I really like that lipstick. It was my favorite lipstick for such a long time. I wouldn't say it's my favorite lipstick anymore because I've added newer ones from Charlotte Tilbury. And I think at the moment I like JK Magic more than I like Very Victoria. But I sort of like switch between lipsticks and sometimes I prefer like a pinky tone. Sometimes I prefer like a peachy tone. So I still really enjoy that Very Victoria lipstick. So I wouldn't say it's like a top favorite in my collection anymore from all of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I have. But it's definitely a go-to that I still really enjoy. So. It is a favorite, it's just not my top favorite, if that makes sense. So I see why I chose that one. It's an absolutely beautiful lipstick. Okay, everyone, then these were all the products that I chose for my 2020 makeup favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I thought it was very fun to see the products that I picked last year and sort of see what I think about them now. Let me know if you have tried any of these products, what you think of it. And I would also love to know if you maybe had a product last year that you absolutely love, but this year you kind of like forgot about it or replaced it by a different product. And if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.